So this one time at Medieval Camp, <laughs> a lady who truly was, and is, fine and noble, turned to a young and impressionable Darian on the road and said, you know, young man, you sing very entertaining songs, and you write wonderfully funny humor. It would be just special if you turned that talent to writing about things medieval. <laughs> A young and impressionable Darian, as I said, was <sighs> like that. <laughs> and what, I thought, could be more medieval than sibling rivalry? Yes! I give you six and four. Well, we are both sons of a grand duke. We've treasures and baubles galore. But get down on your knees and worship me truly. Cause I'm six and you're only four. <laughs> Our lineage is noble and ancient and stands from a far distant shore. But I want what's yours. It's mine by my birthright. Cause I'm six and you're only four. And hand over that big box of crayons, the ones with the big green six and four. Cause mine are all broken and you don't deserve those. Cause I'm six and you're only four. When at last I come to my station, as many have oft done before, Put my queen at my right hand. Sorry, John. <laughs> you can serve with my left boy. And bring me a sippy filled up with the good stuff. Cause I'm six and you're only four. And I'm a hero, a legend of my generation. So clever and bold and right suave. Hey there, ladies, how you doing tonight? Are those real for trust? <laughs> I'm a powerful giant. You're the nearest of acorns. Cause I'm six and you're only four. Roll the change. Oh yeah, well that's just what you say. Go on, you six year old boy. Cause my mother's married to my only father. And your mom was my daddy's nanny, 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 hey! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.